Alright guys and welcome back to more Shimigami Tensei Nocturne and we are right next to a boss fight. I haven't opened the door yet but I have a strong hint from one of the souls here that you can talk to one of the non-playable characters pretty much and they say it's the Lord of the Flies and I immediately thought of fucking Beelzebub and Beelzebub was not a he was not a punk in SMT4 so Already, I gotta make sure I got re um, resist resistance against death. I nullify it, so that's fine. As long as he doesn't slang Hama. Um, and he also does fire attack. No, he's weak against fire. I'd, if he's anything like SMT4 or Beelzebub, he's weak against fire. Well, he's not weak against it, but, you know, he resisted or whatever. So, we better have somebody ready for that. But, right now, oh my goodness, dude. I gotta make sure everybody's resistance against death. As we go in there, we gonna get wrecked. So <laughs> I'm kind of worried now. I'm I'm a little bit worried. Before I wasn't until I heard Beelzebub get, <laughs> or I heard his surname, or I guess you could say one of his titles, freaking uh, Lord of the Flies, Death of course, Death. Death, nullify fire, and expel. Weak against ice, though. I'm hoping he don't do Mabufala or some shit. Cause th then we'd be in trouble. <laughs> then we'd be in some real big trouble. Alright, but anyway, shit. I guess we can go in to this door. Wait, not yet. Not until we get a. Not until we get to a full moon. Not until we get to a full moon. Alright, death bound for days. Nice. Deathbound again. Good stuff. Alright, so we want to definitely stay healed, but I won't heal until we get to a full moon here. Alright, guys, it's a full moon. I'm hoping he just shows up after the next door. Oh shit. We call the corridor ahead to 12 meters of eternity. It's only a short distance to the other side, but every time you enter, you end up somewhere else. Oh wow, I thought I was going to be able to just fight him right there. Hell's Vault. Where the hell am I? I'm in Hell's Vault. What the? I can't look at the map. They said I can't look at the map here. I'm in Hell's Vault. I thought the boss would be like right there. I guess not. What the? F oh man, more teleportation bullshit. What was this? Beat of life, nice, that's good. Oh, I can't look at the map. That's horse shit. Do say you have to go through Hell's Vault before you can actually get to fight this dude. Oh my goodness, this is gonna be real annoying if we lose on the first try, because we have to go through all this shit again. Avenge, really?
It's really strange from the other side. The phase of Kagesuchi determines where you'll end up. But from this side, you can only return to the entrance. Really. Alright, here we go. We're going down the ladder now. Hey, what the hell is down here? The path is blocked. These people again. We. I'm pretty sure physical is work. We're actually we can actually beat these guys now with no problem. Damn, cat! Before you break the door, calm down. No, don't kind of run. Try to break down the door or something. Like, what the hell is this problem? Burdo, 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 Definitely want to kill the middle chick. Ooh, nice critical. Good stuff. Wow, and they still give you great experience. They still give you good experience. That's retarded. I might have to train here. I might trade to like level 80. Oh, no. Oh, boy. Usually, whenever we get to a soul like that, that means basically, well, they want us, well, we we have a chance to warp out of here and get back to where we want to go. Boy, it looks like the boss is, sh is about to show up somewhere. We didn't turn right. We can't go right, if I'm not mistaken. I think you need to activate that switch over there to continue. It looks like you can get through the other side from the Kalpa above, so... Why don't you try to make your way across? From the Kalpa above? From the Kalpa above? I have to go back to the third Kalpa? What the fuck, man? I guess that's why she's here. I guess that's why she's here. So we're gonna talk to this soul and leave. Wow. Alright guys, and welcome back to more Shin Megami Tensei Nocturne. This is about, I'm not sure if I even, I will even include the last intro I tried to do. Because I thought I was about to fight the boss, but it's two hours later and here we are. I'm finally about to fight the boss of the fourth Amala, or the fourth Kalpa of the Amala Network. So, not the Amala Network, the Amala Labyrinth, excuse me, but here we go. We spent about two hours in here. We actually got a couple of things here. We got more money because there was a chest in here that gave you more money. And get this, this is the most cryptic nonsense whatsoever. I, didn't inc I did not include this into the video probably, but it was an old man we had to talk to after going through a puzzle. And we literally had to sit on the menu for three minutes three minutes we had to sit on the menu then respond yes so when we respond to yes or whatever we get to go into the room and we get a better reward which is outrageous ridiculous who would have found that out who would have found us found that out? it's optional it's not necessary but that's still ridiculous to me how someone found this out and put it in this guy i was like what the hell man it was just ridiculousness it, this whole that this whole area is so cryptic. Like, we had to go into specific doors at specific moon freaking Kagasuchis or whatever, different phases of the Kagasuchi. But here we are finally. I don't want to bore you guys with like all the ridiculousness that we had to go through. Here we go. We need to hop into this portal at a new moon to go to, I think, Hell's Hall. So here we go. Yep, Hell's Hall. Here goes the boss. I was told that we could just go... 
Of course there's more. Of course there's more. Of course there's more. And it's a cursed room, so every step I take, I'm about, I'm about to take damage. Wow. <laughs> and this is supposed to go straight to the boss. Oh my goodness. Guys, I, I don't even know what to believe in anymore. Hey, look, it's Mothman. What you doing chilling in here? Ah! Where's his room? I don't see his damn room. Ha! Huh. That's cool. Well, we're not gonna get healed yet. We will not heal. Oh my, get- Ow! Ow! Alright, so that's the door. But you know what? We're gonna walk until a full Makaga Tsuchi. That's the door we gotta go through, I believe. Wicked King's Hall, yo. So, damn it, dude. Because we can still run into enemies here. This is gonna be really bad. So we need to heal along the way. And I'm hoping we can at least get to a full moon as we're taking all this damn damage. Oh my goodness. <laughs> it's painful to do this, but hey. And to make things as efficient as possible, we only want to heal when we see that the map is flashing red. Because if it's flashing red, that means a random encounter is about to show up. So that means we want to go and try to heal just in case. Yo, Queen Mad with that 420 HP though. Wicked Kings haul my ass. Oh wow. Did you see how fast those those encounters were trying to come out on? Like, come on. Those encounters were trying to go ham. Oh, I'm sure they'll allow us to walk through this door and heal. Nope. I ain't taking no fucking chances. We're gonna walk to a full moon right here. No chances will be taken. <laughs> no chances will be taken here. No YOLOs right now. Until a red spot shows up, that's when we'll heal. If you look at the uh, the map to the southeast side of the screen. I better try to heal. Come on, yes, we got it. So here we go, guys. <laughs> it's a full balloon. We took a lot of damage, but we healed up immediately. And we are ready to go. And uh, let us do this. Yeah, we healed up. Full moon. Let's see if we can walk in here and actually walk around. Nope. Damn, this is it's just immediately a boss fight. Wow. You, you literally have to heal up right at the door. What the hell is that music? You withstood the attacks of the fiends and now you stand bef here before me? For this feat I shall grant you audience. Come forward, big boss. For a little man, why are you called big boss? I'ma show you why. Once I beat your ass, I'ma be the boss. What they said, troll? Yo, Beelzebub doesn't look the same. I am the chief among those who fell from heaven. With the angel of darkness, I lead the demons of chaos. I am Beelzebub, ruler of death and warden of souls. Ah, oh, he, he looks different in this game. So you're a big boss. Or Lucifer's favorite. Lucifer, huh? I heard about you. The power given to you by Lord Lucifer. You are trying to create a new... He said Lucifer? So the little kid is Lucifer? What, you didn't know? <laughs> what, you didn't know? <laughs> Wrestler looking at... Alright, that's what the candles are for. When all the candles have been returned to their rightful places, a new demon of chaos will be born. I have no idea what he talked you into collecting them, but I gotta say, you're quite gullible. Demons of Chaos are all waiting for that moment. The moment when, when the new demon is born, the Lord Lucifer makes his final decision. 
Shut up. The army of chaos will rise at Lord Lucifer's command. The bro army. To bring about the glorious event, I will gladly assist you. But you must first demonstrate that you are worthy of my help. Uh-oh. My true form is more suitable for this test. This isn't even my final form! <laughs> I'm back! Now prove your strength to me! At least the demonic power given to you by Lord Lucifer! This ain't SMT4, bitch! <laughs> Magic don't work too well! Whoa, new music! Now let's begin. I hope you don't die too easily. Shut up. Oh, he voids it, thank goodness. What the hell? This is new. Why he get his own unique music and shit? <laughs> What's so special about you, Beelzebub? He get his own track and shit. Alright, so immediately we got a boss. Red Rider, you will... Rakunda. Fog Breath. Ow. Woo! Got a binge, though. Damn, he voids that, too? Red Rider is hit! Yeah, like, Red Rider has been useful for, like, every single boss fight this far. Shout out to Red Rider, putting in amazing work. Alright, so that's two Terracajas. Can we actually hit him? Yeah, we can actually hit him. Go figure, Fog Breath once more. So that's the last Rakunda. Why didn't I heal? Wow, I got real lucky right there, dude. <laughs> I got real lucky. I was like, wait a minute. I was supposed to heal, dog. <laughs> Alright, we healing this turn. I'll tell you that for sure. Alright, you know what? We will actually attack a little bit. Because we got Bright Might here. Kali, don't fucking miss, all right? You know him for missing for some odd reason. All right. Now we will heal. Red Rider, Super Kaja. There we go. Kali, attack. Here we go. Get it in. Pass. Criticals for days guaranteed. Another Terracaja. Oh shit, we did that too much. Alright, I wasn't keeping track. Alright, Void, good stuff. Alright, now we can go in. Critical. Crit. Crit. Uh, death Vow. Let's go. Yes, that's what I want to see. <laughs> that's what I want to see, bro. Mm. Mm. Um, just to be safe, we're going to heal. We are healing. That was a good warm up. Well, my subordinates are getting restless, so let's start the real battle. What? Feel my power. That wasn't even my final form. Oh shit, the Kaja? Oh shit. So he still has his debuff though, right? But he's got. So he still has fog breath on him though, right? Whatever. Let's still go in on him. 
<laughs> Red Rider, please, Suku Kaja. <laughs> please. Alright, I'm just gonna focus. Alright, just keep keep going in, guys. Just keep going in. I'm not going to attack yet, but I will. No need to heal right now. I can't defend. That's one thing thing I'm not used to yet. Like not being I I would want to use death down here, but that lowers my HP. Yeah. Eh, you know what? Screw it. Just attack. Regularly attack. Screw it. Ooh, and he got a critical. Oh my god. Red Rider almost got taken out the box. Um, we're gonna have Big Boss D buff him. We're actually gonna have him far, bro. Die Soldier, whenever he gets another turn, will heal. Make him waste a turn. Damn it, I was hoping he missed. Alright, we got our focus, right? Meditation. Alright, big boss, you focus. Nice. That was about 500, I believe. Kali, go in. Die, Soldier, please heal. Focus. Oh, nice. He fucked up. Um, I will go ahead and... Terikaja. Nice! Good stuff, good stuff, good stuff indeed. I can use another Terikaja, but let's Rakunda. We will go ahead and hear a uh, heal. <laughs> Depending on what happens, big boss mate, death fly. What the hell was that about? Death flies? He's starting to do new shit now. He's pulling out new stuff. I right, get shit. Ah, uh, meditation. We need to get his MP back. We don't need to heal luckily, so let's keep using meditation every time we get to die until he gets his HP up. So we're gonna focus. We're gonna get critical hits for days here, so Big Boss will be able to go again. Ah, uh, meditation. Did we finish it? Yeah! We whooped his ass on the first try! Everybody got me nervous, making him think he was gonna be super tough. Bright Might! We got Bright Might for everybody. We got Bright Might for Beelzebub. We got Bright Might for the fiends. We got Bright Might for your mama. We got Bright Might for your daddy. We got Bright Might for the Crips. Bright Might for the Bloods. 
Sprite Mike for everybody, son. Come get some. Sprite Mike is too strong. Beelzebub. Beelzebub was like, what the hell, man? That's, that's just too OP. <laughs> Alright. Agility. Void death. All death attacks. We don't need that. We can just equip a Magatama like we did. Get shit. Get wrecked, sir. Get wrecked. Get wrecked. Get on my level, did sir. What? What do you mean this can't be used here? The Wicked King just got his ass whooped. Ooh, Diamond Time 3. Strength Incense? What's in this one? Maw Incense. Good stuff. 66666 Maka. Wow. Alright. So what was the point in defeating him? Is the Curse Halls gone then? I'm guessing defeating him gets rid of <coughs> voice cracks and uh <laughs> I guess defeating him got rid of um, the curse halls the power of red bull works nah we good we don't even need to get healed son well Beelzebub got bodied Red Rider said, hey, you doing all these moves? I'm just going to absorb it. <laughs> I'm just going to nullify this shit. Red Rider putting in work since 2014. <laughs> oh my goodness. Wow, you defeated our leader? Wow, you should look for the star key. It can unlock the golden doors. It's somewhere in this labyrinth where it used to be cursed. There's another demon who knows where it is. If you can get the star key, maybe you can make it to the bottom. So we got to find this star key. We got a death stone over here. See, it's, it's still kind of scary at this moment because random encounters can still fuck you over real hard. Because they can just, they can literally go first, ambush you, and throw a Mudo and just kill you. Mudo or a Hama, depending on what skills you got. I'm kind of salty that I can't really use a freaking um, a map. Alright, so now uh, obviously we gotta go find some star key. And it's not down here because we've been down here before. And we can't open up that door to the right, which probably leads to the next um, Kalpa. We can't open that door until we get the star key and open the freaking uh, door on the third Kalpa, which pretty much opens the door here. Wow. So what I'm going to do here, guys, I'm actually... All right, we ain't scared of these guys. As long as we don't attack them, we should be okay. But right now, 10 to the food. 10 to the food. I'm actually gonna pass my turn so I don't kill myself. <laughs> On accident. Red White, man. Red Rider is just too damn good. But, like I'm going to say, like I was trying to say before, a piece of hair interrupted me. I'm about to save the game, take a short break, and once we come back, we'll be back with more Nocturne. I'll probably be back, like, with the next boss in hand or whatever. Or, better yet, I'll probably try to find where the star key is, come back and view this cutscene, and then pretty much just record the next boss possible. So, I'll see you guys in a second. Alright, this is the guy we need to talk to for this... For the star key. Alright, I'll tell you something you might want to know. My drinking buddy is somewhere up in Tokyo having a drink. He's got the key that opens the golden doors. Alright, so now we have to go to the lounge and talk to Loki, who's the drunken guy. So hopefully he ain't mad at us for rent or like going through his room, busting his room up, stealing all his stuff. But you know what? That's what he gets for being a dick. We bust your room up and we steal stuff from you for being a dick. He wanted two million maka, I think, for uh, 
for one of the items. I forget which item he wanted. Yeah, a dollar. I, th I think it was a, a thousand dollar yen bill. A, a thousand yen bill. But anyway, I'm gonna warp us straight to. Oops, went through the wrong door. I'm gonna warp us straight to Loki's room for the next freaking objective to get through this labyrinth. Here we are, guys, back again at Nix's lounge this time. We have to talk to Loki here to get the star key. Oh, you again? What, the star key? It's in my stomach as liquor, of course. What? I sold it to a curious mannequin. I needed the money since my room was raided. <laughs> Know what I mean? Alright, so now we have to obviously go to the collector mannequin because he said he wanted to search for something no one's has ever seen before. And that's obviously the star key. So now we gotta make our way all the way to Asaku Asakusa, Asakusa and get the star key from that guy. If I lose to this group of enemies, I'm gonna be extra mad. I would have been mad salty if I somehow lost to those guys. Alright guys, so we made it to the junk shop. We made it to the collector mannequin and we need to talk to him. By the way, I got this from a demon for 60 maka the other day. It's called the Star... Dude! He got it for 60 maka? Are you kidding me? But I'm not interested in it. It only seems in... I'm only interested in man-made items. So I'll give it to you if you like. Do you want it? Yeah! I see. Okay, then here you go. Damn, he just gave me the star key. All right, I'll buy something. I'll buy something for you since you gave me it. I'll go ahead and buy maybe like 11 more of these. Damn, look at that. You bought something for 60? I gave you 66. 66. 100 Martha. Alright, so now our next goal is to pretty much go back to the third Kalpa, use the damn star key to open up a door, one of the golden doors, and pretty much open the pathway to the fifth Kalpa. So, we're going to link to Asakusa really quick. And then link to Amala Labyrinth. And then I'll see you guys on YouTube very shortly again. But everybody on Twitch has to stick with this for another probably 10 minutes. <laughs> Alright guys, and welcome back to more Shimigami Nocturne. And we are pretty much here in the uh, second Kalpa, or the, the third Kalpa where we fought Dante. And if you remember correctly... I ran into this door and I didn't know exactly what it was for, but I think this is the same door we need to open with the star key. We ran into this when we had uh, went through the chase sequence with Dante. Is this the door? That is not the door. What the hell? That is not the door. What is that door for? I am so confused right now. So what I'm going to do really quick is look up more information because I don't know which door I have to open. It's so confusing. So everybody on YouTube, I'll be right back again. All right, guys. So welcome back. And apparently, you know this door I never went through? Well, this is the door we got to go through. What the hell? <laughs> I never even checked that door. I'm so salty, dude. I never checked this door. It was literally right next to the door. <laughs> But what's that other door I wonder for? That's another secret. I mean, I like secrets, but I hate cryptic secrets, you know? I mean, cryptic secrets are okay too, but I hate super cryptic secrets that aren't really... Whoa, look at all this money. Damn. Oh my god. I can't believe I punched that. Sock it to him. Sock it to him. Sock it to him. Alright. I got something else, but I didn't look at it. I, I mashed the buttons too fast. So we are in the fourth Kalpa through a different entrance. 
Why would they make me open two different star keys? Now, this is the door we needed to open. Good stuff. So now we can get to the fifth Kalpa. Hey, you guys. All right. So now what we want to do, immediately activate a stone one so we don't get bopped. We're going to use the star key or the star key again and get the hell up out of here. And I'll see you guys on YouTube in a few minutes. Again. <laughs> There's going to be so many jump cuts. You know what? Fuck this. Ain't nobody got time for this bullshit. Smoke ball, bitch. How you like my ninjutsu? Wait, what the fuck? Where'd they go? <laughs> Where the fuck they go? What the fuck? <laughs> All right, but anyway, welcome back, guys. We are in the fifth Kalpa, or excuse me, the fourth Kalpa. About to proceed to the fifth Kalpa now. Hey, you activated the switch. Now you can move on. Good luck. Wow, you no help to you. No, no help thanks to you. You know what I'm saying? You didn't help. I was out here struggling. Struggling for my life. And you know what? I'm gonna use another smoke ball because I'm getting real tired of these encounters. Those are the lamest encounters. The encounters where you can't just wipe them out with. Deathbound are the lamest. But it looks like we finally made it to the damn last Kalpa. But before we move on, we gotta go through the peephole. There's a peephole. Will you look through it? Whoa! It was the old man's face this time. Before it was Dio's face, now it's an old man's face. Wee, 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 wee. Good morning, Mrs. Pib. Good morning, Mr. Pib. At last you have restored all the candles to their rightful places. I promised earlier that I have, I would answer all your questions, sparing no detail. Well, I have no questions. Well, we'll tell you anyway. It may have occurred to you that the candles were not in fact stolen. In truth, my master gave them to those whom he deemed worthy. I must apologize for not being honest with you, but there is a reason. If you listen to what I have to say, I am sure you will understand. I don't give a damn, though. You ain't got to tell me, but you're going to tell me anyway. The forces of light and darkness have fought throughout the universe, even beyond the flow of time. Their battles have affected every living being in existence. Demons and humans have no exceptions. They have simply been cogwheels in the infernal machine called war. A little war. And that war still rages on, even as we speak. However, one individual vowed to put an end to this eternal war. He decided to create a demon of chaos, one that would inherit his will, and enter the final battle against the forces of light. So you're telling me, Satan? Oh, look, it's Dante. The fiends were prepared for the creation of that demon. He believed that by challenging and overcoming death, that the demon would become the fruit of destruction, the black hope that we awaited for so long. The black hope. That is what he and my master said. He and my master. He and who? The, the he who? I want to know. The fiends in the labyrinth of Amala were ordeals meant to test you. You have vanquished all the fiends, and now you stand here just as he hoped. The demon with the strength to become the champion of chaos. Big boss, will you tend, or excuse me, will you lend your strength to us? For the sake of all who live in darkness, I cannot force you to help us. If you choose to walk the path of a human, then there is no need for you to return here. But if you have doubts about the laws of the universe, then you should come to us at the very bottom of the labyrinth. I don't know about all that. I don't know how I feel about this lady in black.
I don't know about how I feel about all this, man. I don't know. Is he actually gonna say something? He's got that pimp cane and everything. Whoa. The man with the fedora. The man I am referring to was known as the fedora. <laughs> the fedora man in your previous world. <laughs> the man with the fedora. He died, but as fate would have it, he carried on in the vortex world. Think back to when you first met him. To when the conception occurred. Do I really give a damn? No. Yes, he did lose his life, like all the others. As he was heading to the hospital where you already were, the conception began and his life ended. Huh? Did it not seem odd to you that he was in a vortex world, unaffected, unchanged? It was all because of the mortal sin which he committed. Mortal sin? What the fuck does that mean? He was being toyed with by fate, condemned to carry the burden of atonement forever. His punishment was to see with his own eyes all that happens in the world, to record the balance of events through all the ages. A task as endless as scooping water out of the sea with a cup. He was condemned to wander the infinite span of time. Damn. Man can change the course of his next life by his karma. But that privilege was taken away. Damn. Though his body may perish, his soul will remain unsaved. He must continue on with his task. Yo, lightning didn't save his soul. <laughs> lightning did not save his soul. He lives a cursed eternal life just like a demon. Watch and record the history of the world. Witness the entirety of the endless war between order and chaos. That is your punishment for this unforgivable sin. Your eternal punishment. Eternal punishment, innocent sin, son. That's the next persona game. Do you understand now? By the will of Amala, he was given a life of torment in the margin of Vortex world without realizing that he had died. <laughs> Soon after, your paths crossed again. That is probably because you have the potential to affect the course of the new world. So by accompanying you, he had unknowingly been fulfilling his destiny. Tragically, he has no memory of his sin, his punishment, or even his death. He believes that he survived the conception and has acted accordingly. As for the result of his efforts, you already know the outcome. In the body of a mannequin, the man with the fedora challenged those vying for creation. He lost his body once again. Ha! <laughs> body. Mortal sin. Something he did in his past life. What the hell did he do in his past life that was a mortal sin? He's now on a journey to a new land of suffering. But his will can never be freed and his sin never redeemed. What did he do? Did he kill himself or something? Do you want your life to be predestined as well? Or would you rather choose your own actions? If you do not wish to be ruled by destiny, if you would... Prefer to walk with demons on a new, the untrodden path, then please come visit my master. You can open a door to darkness. Kingdom Hearts is dark. <laughs> I will. Then we will be waiting in the deepest part of the labyrinth. I will open the way to the last door. We will look forward to seeing you soon. Until then, little did Big Boss know. The main plan is to pretty much get strong, go to the bottom floor, and then literally get his body taken over by Lucifer. I already predicted the plot. GGDN, I don't need to beat this guy. End of the playthrough. I guessed the plot. No, I'm just playing. <laughs> Ninja like, what the hell? That was a horrible guess. I played this game 10 years ago. Ninja, you weren't even alive 10 years ago. What are you saying? Yes, I talk for my cat because I can. Anyway, let's let's go into the fifth labyrinth, or the fifth, the fifth Kalpa, so we can create this shortcut, so we can go save the game. So we're gonna keep going on a little bit. This video might go over about 40 minutes, but I don't know. How, whoa! Why am I getting money? I'm getting money. Whoa! Come on! You can't do that. I want that ball of light. Come back here, bro. There's no way I'm getting that. Oh my god, god, god. Oh my god, god, god. Oh my goodness. Oh, 
Ouch. How are you supposed to hit those from... It's like, what? I'm getting crossed up. I'm getting crossed up. Like, the blocks was coming from behind. The fifth Kalpa. Are you ready, Kappa? Kalpa, Kappa. If you don't know what a Kappa is, then you probably never watched a live stream on Twitch. I'm just saying. The Candle of Sovereignty. We already had this one. So now we can go into the fifth... Kalpa. Kappa. Alright, let's go in a little bit. I will look at the Kalpa a little bit, then we'll head back. Oh, looks like that's the shortcut. Oh, look at this, a cutscene again. Our goals are the same, just as I suspected. You know, I have to admit, you've got guts. I'm impressed that you made it this far. Is this the part where Dante helps me? <laughs> yes! It's gonna get a lot more dangerous from here. You think you're playing with fire? You're gonna get more than just burned. That's why I want to offer my services to you. Demon hiring a demon slayer. It's the joke of the century, don't you think? So how about it? Okay, I'll hire you. Yeah, we get Dante! Alright then, let's talk business. I usually charge an outrageous amount of money, but in this case, I'll make an exception. Let's flip a coin. Heads or tails? If you win, just give me a dollar. Oh yeah, it's Maka here, isn't it? Give me one Maka then. <laughs> But if you lose, you'll have to give me half of what you got. Oh, hell no! I can't lose this coin flip! I can't lose this coin flip! Call it heads or tails. I think tails is the way to go, right? Whatever. Let's go heads. Let's go heads. It better be heads. Don't say tails. Is it heads? Is that tails? As it is, you're lucky, kid. Okay, get the special discount price of one Maka, yeah! <laughs> Thank you very much. Starting today, I work for you. So what's your name? Big Boss. Big Boss. I see not a bad name. Damn right. Dante. Dante. Okay, big boss. <laughs> Shall we go pay a visit to the ruler of hell? His servant's heads will make nice souvenirs. The final battle between demons and the army of God. This will be interesting. Dante, oh shit. Can I get Virgil on my team too? Can I get Trish? Can I get Lady? Alright, so the reason why I click heads is because if you've ever played Devil May Cry, any of the Devil May Cry... I want to say, I think Devil May Cry 2? That coin is this, apparently is the same coin from one of those games. And then he had a devil sided he, or head coin. So basically, if you pick Tails, you were going to lose no matter what, I guess. So, yeah. We got Dante. Does he follow me around like Pokemon? Nope. I guess he comes out of my body for cutscenes. Like the old school RPGs. Let's look at his stat. This nigga's level 80! <laughs> This nigga's level 80, oh my god, look at him. He can still learn skills. Resist physical and magic, nullify exp- Wow! Wow! He resists physical and magic. He's not weak against anything. Yo, Dante's looking kinda broke right now. <laughs> they, made, they made Dante seriously broke. Cancels NDA effects entire party. Provoke. All enemies lower. Defense raises physical attack. Never yield. Prevents death. 1 HP remaining one time. Intimidate user. Persuades an indecisive enemy. What? That sounds useless. Rebellion. Physical high odds of critical. Round trip and whirlwind. 
that his skills aren't... I mean, the only thing we'll probably be using is repelling because it crits, but his skills never yield seems alright. All enemies lowers defense, raises physical attack. User heals MP, whoa. I wonder if it works just like Warcry, where it lowers it by two levels. Because whenever he used Provoke on us, we would get bopped, like, very hard in our first fight. But he is level 80 here. Oh my goodness. Well, before we venture in any further, we're backtracking. We got Dante and our crew. What we're going to do is save the game, take a break. And once we get to the last boss of this labyrinth, we'll be back recording. And I'll see you guys next time on YouTube for more Nocturne. <laughs>